What is up guys, welcome to the channel. This is Mr. Logandi, and today we will be talking about one of my favorite blueprints in Dying Light the Following, which is known as Twilight Phantom, but we all know it as Link's Master Sword. And this is how you can get it. When looking at your map, you'll notice it's the Southeast Peninsula, kind of in the middle of the map, and it has one hunter tower on it. From here, you can look down on the beach and see a parachute lying on the ground, and this will be your indicator of where to go to find this blueprint. When you were near any mysterious boxes all across the map, you were going to hear a beeping sound, and the closer you get to the box, the louder the beep is, the higher the pitch is going to be, and the faster the beeps are going to be next to each other. Now remember, to open these mysterious boxes, you're gonna need a handheld device that was given to you by Tolga and Fatin at the end of their quest line in the following DLC. If you don't have it, be sure to finish that quest, and then you can come back and pick up this blueprint. When you go down, you'll see it is a gold tier blueprint and can be used with multiple types of weapons. Now, once you choose the weapon, it will transform it into what we know as Link's Master Sword. One thing to notice when creating the blueprint for the Twilight Phantom is that it has an electricity modification, so it's not just a regular blade. Another fun thing to note is that when it gets close to special types of zombies such as volatiles or virals, it'll start to glow red, almost showing another easter egg within this blueprint like Sting, Bilbo and Frodo's sword from the Lord of the Rings series. Alright guys, that is all I got for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, comment, or subscribe. I would greatly appreciate any of the three. And as always, good night and good luck.